Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Tuesday, March 30. Hope you are doing well. This is Tuesday of Holy Week. We have entered into the the most significant, in a sense, most significant week of the Christian year, somewhere between Palm Sunday and Good Friday. And we talked on Sunday about that, um, about that strange reality that the same people who yelled Hosanna uh, on Palm Sunday later on Good Friday were yelling, crucify him. And we sort of find our place in that scene. We find our place in the story and in the narrative as people who are, who are, who who who, who have been declared to be good in our creation, stamped with the image of God, but also people who are broken, who live in a broken world that sin has torn apart. And in the midst of those places, uh, we also recognize that there is a great redemption that God has promised, but it has not yet fully come. It's the tension we live in. One of the ways we live in that tension is by praying and praying. The Psalms uh, are the the Psalms are the prayers that the people of God have been praying for thousands of years, and so we join in that tradition. Today we're on Psalm 127 again. Psalms of ascent. These are traveling psalms, uh, songs that the pilgrims would have sung on their way to Jerusalem, the great festivals. So let's go ahead and. Take a moment to settle our hearts and minds as we prepare to hear from God today. Psalm 127. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord guards the city, the guard keeps watch in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for God gives sleep to those he loves. Children are indeed a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrow, arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Happy is the one who has his quiver full of them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Read that again. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord guards the city, the guard keeps watch in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for God gives sleep to those he loves. Children are indeed a heritage from the Lord, fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Happy is the one who has his quiver full of them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Sort of two very different sections of this very short psalm. And for me, the, it's the first section that sort of grabs my attention today. The part about unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. And I, I think about... Um, the tendency to sort of divide the world into into uh, into spiritual and non-spiritual categories, uh, into, into spiritual and earthly, if you will. Maybe that's the way to think of it. And and unless you happen to have a job or a vocation that is clearly part of a of a Christian ministry, a Christian organization, or a church, uh, many times we get caught up into thinking that our work. Is, is, is earthly. It doesn't have a spiritual connection to it. I remember before I was a pastor, I was in the business world for, for about 10 years, and, and I remember struggling with that, struggling with thinking that I, I had all of these uh, friends who were, who were working um, in, in, in ways that maybe more, at least to me, more clearly fit 
the things of God's kingdom, whether it be uh, in church settings or maybe in education or maybe in medicine or maybe, you know, we call those the the helping fields. And I was in a in a business environment that, that felt more, uh, more, I don't know, uh, earthly minded, if you will. Um, and I really wrestled with that. And I, I remember having great conversations with a man who happened to be the dean of the business school uh, at Seattle Pacific University uh, and a really, really strong follower of Jesus himself. Um, and we talked about that, 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 that struggle of can God work through, quote, secular institutions? And, and he helped me to see that, that, in fact, God does and God desires to. And just as God calls some people to, to, to pastoral ministry or to a vocation of education or some of those things, uh, he helped me to see that God also calls people to business as well. And that's a long story, and there are many different elements of that, uh, different nuances and those types of things. But I, but I remain convinced, and, and even though I ended up in the, in the pastoral vocation, um, still have the strong belief that, that anything that God calls us to, uh, God desires to use for the purposes of God's kingdom. It's not just about making money. It's not just about self-actualization. It's not just about being all you can be. Uh, there's pieces of that and everything. Uh, the main purpose of something, uh, of, of whatever it is you're involved in, what I'm involved in, the main purpose is always uh, somehow to bring glory to God and to further God's kingdom. So anyway, challenging thoughts there, I'm sure, much to think about, far too much for a simple morning devotion, um, but at least kind of gets our heads going. Let's take a moment to pray for the day ahead. Lord, we, we thank you that you have called us to a variety of different settings and situations, occupations, things to fill out our day. We thank you that you are in all of those things, that you work and move in powerful ways, that uh, your love guides us and your spirit enables us. And Lord, as we go into our days, we pray for all of that, that we would see a a sense of what you're doing through the things you've called us to. Lord, we do want to pray for, uh, we want to take a moment to pray for the things that are on our hearts. So friends, uh, I invite you to lift up whatever prayer you carry with you today. Lord, hear our prayers. And so, God, we lift up all of these prayers to you, thanking you that you hear them. We pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, great to be with you. Hope the week starts off well for you. Take care. God bless, and we will see you soon.